Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator and your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I'd like to do today, guys, is show you how to create this realistic 3D fur effect within Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to show you with just a very simple um, path when I use the, with the pen tool, but you can obviously implement this and apply this to any type of elements that you feel um, you'd like to do it to. And what I would like to do is show the step-by-step -step process you need to follow to create such an effect. Okay, so just going to use my selection tool, select this uh, element and just remove it. And now I'm going to start with my pen tool. Okay, so using shift, I'm going to click my first point. As, a, as you can see, I am pressing shift, so it's going perfectly uh, down for me. But if you see, if I don't press shift, I go over the place. So I want to keep shift. Let's go click there. Shift also goes diagonal perfect as well. Click. Just create my path here. And that's it about here. Okay. I just quickly need to swap the um, fill and the stroke around here. And there's my original shape. Okay, so I'm just going to use my alignment tools at the top of the screen just to get it aligned perfectly. And we're just going to increase the size of that particular stroke and just change the color pretty quickly. Okay, so using my direct selection tool, I'm going to come through and just round off the edges a little bit there, like so. And probably going to move this anchor point just a little bit up. Let's say around there. On the full. Okay, so using my ellipse tool, I'm going to come through and I'm going to create an ellipse like so. And we're going to apply a gradient to this particular ellipse. And let me just build a nice gradient. I'm just going to come to our burger icon up here and change that to RGB. Let's say a nice sort of peachy kind of color. And yeah, same again here. Let's change it to RGB. It's already kind of color like so. Wonderful. Okay, so using my selection tool, and I'm going to use the shortcut Option on Mac or Alt on Windows to duplicate my element, also pressing Shift to keep it nice and straight in line. And I need to come through, select the both of them, and I'm going to use my Blend tool here and blend these two shapes together, simply by clicking on the first one and then clicking on the second one. Now, what I need to do is increase the number of steps within this particular blend. How do I do that? You do that by double-clicking on the tool, change the spacing here to specified steps, there's six at the moment. I'm going to bring it right up to around 250. Let's press OK. Wonderful. And there is our sort of fluid tube that we can now apply to our path that we created earlier. So I'm going to select everything like so. And I'm going to come to Object, Blend, Replace Spine. OK. Now, let's just increase the size up just a little bit there like so. Wonderful. And um, with that still selected, now I'm going to come to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Roughen. Okay, so we need to bring the size up here. So around 30-ish, something like that. And we're going to change that to Smooth. We're going to bring the detail up as well, let's say, like so. Let's press OK. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create that realistic 3D Fur effect with an Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, us as tutors, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.